<laughs> well, right now it's time to check in with Anna, who's standing by at BlizzCon Master Control. Hey there, guys. Well, it's our job to entertain you and bring you all of the behind-the-scenes looks from BlizzCon. And this is the behind the behind-the-scenes. This is kind of broadcastception because we're here at Master Control with Pete. And Pete, tell us about what you do. Sure. So um, I'm the head of broadcast at Blizzard. And then I'm also one of three executive producers of BlizzCon. And that means that you are responsible for making sure that our broadcast goes well in a certain, in a certain way, right? Yep, that's correct. Yeah, my scope here at BlizzCon uh, is primarily focused on broadcast as, and including the all-access channel. And that's what everyone back here is working on is, is broadcast, right? And other things, all communication throughout BlizzCon? Correct, yeah. So here in Master Control, the teams here monitor all of the audio and video, and they also manage all of the communications for the production teams at BlizzCon. Tell us a little bit about that, all the communications. What does that mean? Sure, so all of the production teams are on comm systems so they can all communicate with each other. And so all that comm system is managed by here. There's a few hundred channels of unique comm. And so that enables all the teams to talk to each other in real time. Wow, that must take so much organization and skill. Tell us a little bit about all of the people that are here. What are they doing? Sure, so um, right behind us over here, we have Tom. So Tom is the master control director. And so what Tom is responsible for is monitoring all of BlizzCon, and he's responsible for determining what signals and feeds get sent all across. So that's the transmission channels that we have, as well as all of the live elements at BlizzCon. So when we want to show the StarCraft II finals, for example, on one of the other stages, Tom is the person that's helping make that decision and make it happen. Wow. And it looks like he's processing a whole lot of information all at one time. That must take considerable skill. Yeah. Tom uh, has been on BlizzCon with me since 2013, and we have a lot of experience in doing it. But you're exactly right. Tom is monitoring dozens of feeds at any given time. As someone who's been at BlizzCon that long and been working on BlizzCon so long, tell us a little bit about how you think it's changed and grown since you started. Sure. It's been really exciting to see BlizzCon grow. So um, this year, we're up to 11 broadcast stages. Uh, so we have the five live eSword stages. We also have the mythic, legendary, heroic, and epic stages. And then we have uh, two stages dedicated to sort of our wraparound content. So that's the all-access channel and also our MLG checkpoint channel. Wow. And I can see actually behind me, there's all of these monitors up here. Is that showing us all, all of those different stages? Sure. So um, these monitors basically show everything at BlizzCon. And so something I always tell people is if you want to see everything happening at BlizzCon in one place, this is the place you would come to do it. So <laughs> Absolutely. And I've noticed, actually, that there's people peering in through these windows here at Master Control and doing just that, seeing everything that's going on at BlizzCon. Why was that important to let people kind of see into this process? So we recognize that our community is really interested in some of the technology components of BlizzCon, um, Blizzard as a whole, but especially BlizzCon. And so we, this is a great opportunity for our community to see the behind the scenes of how we make it happen. Yeah, and we actually get to step inside. So we're super privileged. Let's see what else is over here. Tell us more about the tour, Pete. Sure. So let's go over here. We'll take a look at audio. So audio is sort of an underlooked discipline at BlizzCon. So Gabe here runs our audio station. And what Gabe is doing is actually looking and listening at every single feed. He's watching all the monitors to see what channels are starting and stopping, and then he's listening to everything throughout the day to make sure that the audio levels are appropriate for viewers at home. I see that he has headphones as well as speakers. Tell us a little bit about why he needs the technology he has there. Sure, so the headset he's wearing allows him to communicate with the rest of the crew. So if he has a problem with a feed of something coming from a stage, he'll reach out to them directly over his comm headset. He's using the speakers, though, because he really wants to have a stereo experience, which is what people expect at home. Absolutely. So audio is here. What else are we looking at in this grand scheme? Sure. So like I said, everything um, at BlizzCon appears on these monitors. The entire crew in this room uses this to coordinate everything that they're doing. So um, over on the left there, you have the feeds of StarCraft II Heroes WoW and our Mythic stage, which is our main stage where opening ceremonies were yesterday. Um, you have the Overwatch Hearthstone Legendary Epic feeds that are all coming in. And as you move across to the right, we're monitoring different feeds from IT. We monitor all of our observer outputs and observer feeds that are used in our eSports broadcast. And so the whole team here is using this as a resource to do their job, basically. And then all of that goes out on streams. And there's a team over there, right, that we need to check in to to see about broadcast, right? Yep, correct. So over here is our transmission team. So we can take a look. So. This team over here is monitoring all of our transmission streams. So we have 118 unique streams, and that's in 20 unique languages. That's so many. We're broadcasting on 11 platforms globally. Wow. And how do you manage to put all of that in one place and then send it out across the world? So uh, basically, we collect all the feeds here in Master Control. That team monitors and uh, does quality control on all of the streams. They make sure that all of the channels across all the platforms start and stop on time. Um, we have a pretty large team that does that. 
It's pretty amazing because I think we like to think of BlizzCon as maybe one entity, but seeing all of these people here working on so much information, it really shows us that this is the co collaboration of quite a few people. How many people would you say it takes to make all of this happen? So all of broadcast at BlizzCon is about 600 people. Wow. And in Master Control here, we have a staff uh, directly of about 40 people. Wow. And uh, tell us a little bit about the, the background of these people. If somebody's watching this and saying, oh, man, that looks really fun. I'd love to get into that sometime. What kind of background do these people have that they would need to have? Sure. So um, the background depends on uh, which area they're working in or what discipline. So um, our audio engineers tend to come out of an audio production background. Um, Tom and some of the other video people here tend to come out of a video production background. But our transmission um, engineers tend to come out of a technology workflow. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. And if people are coming and watching or saying hi or they'd like to give congratulations to anyone at BlizzCon, how should they do that? Well, they can come up to the glass, but typically the team in here is pretty focused on what's happening inside, so unfortunately they might not be able to really interact with them. But frequently, um, people do come and ask us questions, and we're happy to answer them. That's great. Is there anything else that the people at home might need to know before we sign off? I think the main thing to know is that this is the main hub for all of the BlizzCon transmission and broadcast. It certainly looks like it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to do this. I'm sure we need to let you get back to it now. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I'm going to hang out and appear over the shoulder of some of these very skilled people. So for now, back to you.